Hello class. Welcome to Civic Education Virtual Class. I'm Mr. Femi by name. Today we talk we'll be talking about skills that promote interpersonal relationship. Skills that promote interpersonal relationship. Some positive skills promote and make interpersonal relationship to long to last long. Some of them is the first one is tolerance. When you tolerate each other, when partners tolerate each other, they are going to last long. Tolerance in the sense that you accommodate each other behavior. You don't want to change people to what you have. You have to accommodate everyone behavior, no matter how they are. You are not always right. Do what? Allow other people's opinion too. You are not always Mr. Right. Let's move to the second part, kindness and charity. Both partners must always be there for each other at the point of need. That is, the part, uh, both partners must be kind to each other and they must be able to give, giving, in, uh, in a relationship is very vital. Let's look at the third one, patience and endurance. I told you the other time that if, if partners are not patient enough, the relationship will not last long. In any kind of interpersonal relationship, you are supposed to tr treat each other patiently, even at the point of pleasure or difficulty, no matter the condition, treat each other with patience don't be too quick to give up on each other let's look at the fourth point we have here is honesty and talking about honesty there are some basic things under honesty we have truthfulness meekness firmness they are the essential skills to help you to promote interpersonal relationship let's look at the fifth part of it we have forgiveness. Hmm. This one is very vital. That is, you don't continue counting offenses and mistake of each other. And you don't always look at the weakness. You always do what? You always help each other by doing what? By forgiving each other. Partners should learn to do what? To imbibe the habit of forgiving each other's mistake whenever it happens. You know, we are all human beings. We are prone to make mistake no matter how perfect we are away from there let's look at the sixth point appreciation and contentment be satisfied with whatever your partner can afford don't be the one that will be comparing your partner to someone else when you are in interpersonal relationship you don't compare your partner to other People. When you are doing that, you are trying to break such relationship. And when we are talking about appreciation, always learn how to say thank you. Always learn how to say thank you. No matter how small or how big the gift your partner gives to you, learn how to say thank you. It goes a long way way in interpersonal relationship all these skills will be able to promote interpersonal relationship away from there let's talk about the so, uh, the second subheading here importance of interpersonal relationship talking about importance of interpersonal relationship we want to talk about how interpersonal relationship will be vital in our society even personally to each other the first one is that less loneliness when you are in interpersonal relationship it makes you to have a feeling that someone cares about you you will not feel lonely at least you have someone to share your burden with as your friend shows that she or she care in time of need you have to share your problem with someone else it brings about less loneliness the second one is gain self-knowledge and self esteem interpersonal interpersonal relationship make you to see yourself in a different perspective and make you to feel more what and desirable as a 
person you gain knowledge and you see that you also have a word maybe you are having impact in the life of your partner you you said okay yes we i i also have what as an as a human being away from there let's look at the third important of interpersonal relationship enhance physical and emotional health talking about this interpersonal relationship it helps to maximize personal happiness as you smile more when people you have close relationship with are around when people you have close relationship with are around you have to do what you will smile more let's look at the fourth aspect minimize pain the interpersonal relationship minimize pain it makes people that are close to you to care about you and make sure you are okay people that are close to you they want to know and share part of your pain Maybe from there let's look at the final part of it interpersonal relationships secure stimulation talking about this stimulation human content is the best way in racing levels of physiological or nervous activities in the body and this help you personally as a human being that is where we are going to stop for today if you have any question you can drop it at the comment section see you next class bye